Hi, my name's Keith Cooper, North Flight Images, and in this short video I'm going to try and answer a question I'm asked quite often, and that's should I use third-party inks in my printer? Now, I'm just talking about photo printers here, so this happens to be a Canon Pro 200, one of the ones I've tested recently, but people look at the cost of inks and they go, well, I can get cheaper ink elsewhere. Why should I use the Canon inks or for an Epson printer? Why should I use the Epson inks? Why shouldn't I just get cheap inks? Well, yes, they are cheaper. Um, there's no getting away from that. Um, here are some Canon inks, which I've been using for testing this Pro 200. And um, they're not terribly expensive, but they're not cheap. Um, certainly, if you make a lot of prints, it's going to cost you uh, a fair bit in ink. Um, that's one reason for buying a bigger printer, by the way. The ink costs generally go down, but that's, that's another matter. I've looked at that elsewhere. The main difference is that despite what the ink sellers tell you, and I don't sell ink, I've got no interest whether you choose to buy third-party inks or whatever, no matter what they say, they may call them compatible, they're not the same because Canon and Epson don't sell inks to third parties. They don't sell inks for other people to put in cartridges. They don't refill cartridges. Now, so I'm just talking about the photo printers here, not office printers. And uh, the economics may be different for that, but uh, that's another matter altogether. They're not the same. Now, for me, that affects print quality immediately because I like to make printer profiles for my papers. Um, I'm very keen on producing colours the way I want colours reproducing. Having built profiles, that helps me do that. If I was to swap to new inks, I'd have to make new profiles. It uh, doesn't matter what they call them. And of course, you've got the point when you're changing from old inks to new inks, you've got a mix between them. Uh, and that affects the uh, quality of reproduction as well. So I'm not really keen on that process. Now, you could say, well, OK, I'm just using the manufacturer's profiles. Well, the manufacturer's profiles are also made for use with their own inks. Likewise, if you buy paper from somebody that offers uh, profiling services, and some good paper suppliers do offer you custom profiling, they will make the profiles using Canon inks on Canon printers, Epson inks on Epson printers. So once again, their profiles won't necessarily work that well. Now, it depends um, on how much you're bothered by print quality. And in a way, that's one reason I would say you might choose third party inks. Um, if you're not that bothered about print quality, um, then why should uh, paying extra for proper inks make any difference to you? Mm. Not something I personally agree with, but um, I've heard it said some people are happy using the printer management in the uh, uh, printer settings where you just set the printer to manage the colour, it looks after it and out it comes. Um, that's a great way of getting non-predictable results when you print, but uh, people still do it. Um, I've got lots of stuff explaining other ways of doing it, but um, we'll, we'll ignore that for the moment. The other thing is, if I buy a Canon ink, and this is cartridge for this one. If I buy a Canon ink, I know that ink has been designed for that printer, or the printer may have been designed around that type of ink. There's a synergy between them. Third party inks, you don't know how they're going to interact with the printer. Now, the two basic types of inks used in printers, pigment inks, dye inks. Third party pigment inks tend to be slightly higher quality, mainly because of the work needed to actually produce pigment inks that work in a printer. Third party dye based inks can be the really cheap ones. And whilst I don't have direct experience of this, I have seen numerous examples that people have shown me of prints made using dye inks that have within six months faded. Now the Manufacturers themselves, Canon and Epson, put an awful lot of research money into improving inks and making sure that this print, and this is uh, done on the 200, this will long outlast me. Um, I do not expect this to fade at all. Similarly, this large print here, I um, can't remember what this was printed on, but it's on an art paper. 
it's quite a nice panoramic view. I don't expect this to fade at all. This is this is pigment ink, I'm pretty sure. Um, probably done on a P700, but they're all quite similar. So without looking what's written on the back, I can't actually tell. Um, it gives you an idea of how good current printers are, but that's current printers using the manufacturer's inks. Now, as I say, I've got no interest. If you choose to save some money by going and using third party inks, then great. Um, that's not a problem. Um, but do be careful of the potential risks of doing it. Now, I won't say that putting third party inks will damage your printer. Um, there's very little evidence for that, although it has happened in the past. One other thing I'd note is that if I buy, this printer's new, if I get one of these Canon inks, I can be pretty sure in five years time, if I buy some Canon ink for this printer, it's gonna be pretty much the same ink. The same thing cannot be said, particularly for um, unknown, unbranded ink cartridges you buy off the web. You have no idea what's inside them. You don't know if the label may look the same as last time. The ink, who knows? Um, anyway, um, it comes down to it. If I was spending my own money on buying a printer and printing, I would use the manufacturer's inks. There'd be no doubt about it. Now, this happens to be Canon's printer, so I'm not gonna try third party inks on this. Um, I just don't see it worth the risk. And if I've spent several thousand pounds on a printer, and obviously a, a larger printer than this, um, I am not going to quibble over spending an extra few quid on inks. Now, the opinions may differ on this, but from my point of view, um, I'll always go original inks. Anyway, that's my personal reason for doing it. You may disagree, you may think otherwise, but uh, yeah, feel free to comment on the video if you do. Um, but that's just my answer when people say to me, should I use third party inks? No. Sometimes cheaper means cheaper in an awful lot of other ways when you get, get uh, non-original inks. But anyway, hope that answers the question and uh, thanks for watching.